is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. A great viewer contribution to launch the show. Bella took that over the weekend. Liberty Point, that's Lake Pueblo, the wet mountains off the distance. A few high thin cirrus clouds, absolutely spectacular. We've got partly cloudy skies right now from Oak Hills to Knob Hill, all the way back to Pinion Valley. With that light breeze, it feels like 25 degrees. Clear in Pueblo right now, 37 on the thermometer with the wind. You factor that in, it feels like 29 degrees. All right, big weather story. We're jumping ahead to Friday. That's our next chance of snow around here. Storm system is going to move across the region. There's the cold front. We'll have flurries in your forecast. Also going to get quite a bit colder by Friday as well. Developing situation, as we like to say, just wanted to give you the first alert. Here's what one of our models is showing by 8 o'clock Friday morning. Flurries north of the spring, south of Pueblo. That little donut hole right there, that's indicative of a north wind, a drying component as that north wind comes down the Palmer Divide. But we could see some pretty decent snow south of Pueblo and also across the eastern plains. We'll keep you on top of that thing as it develops and moves our way. High wind warning from now until noon Tuesday for areas west of I-25 from Douglas County all the way up to the New Mexico or uh, the Wyoming line. If you're going to be traveling across that area between Colorado Springs and Denver all the way up to Wyoming between now and noon tomorrow, hang out of that steering wheel. Going to have some real strong crosswind some of the gusts west of I-25 in the hills could be up to hurricane force. Here's what happens around here tomorrow. Starting cold in the 20s at 8 a.m. But once that downslope Chinook kicks in, we're going to start warming nicely. Blue sky sunshine, 11 a.m. temperatures at 46 degrees. Gets even warmer during the mid-afternoon hours. Spectacular around here. Wind not a big problem, just breezy out of the west tomorrow, 10 to occasionally 20 miles per hour. It was unseasonably mild today. Pueblo, you topped out at 52 in Colorado Springs. The official high today, 40 and if you're scoring at home, we've had unusually warm highs each and every day so far during the new year. That's always a good thing during January. Here's how strong that wind was today in the springs. A gust at 51, probably your peak gust was 45 miles per hour. Outside right now, we've got 30s and 40s across parts of southeastern Colorado Canyon City. You're the warm spot right now. Overnight low temperatures tonight, colder than what we've had the past few nights. 15 in Pueblo, 20 tonight in Colorado Springs. Awfully cold across northern and eastern El Paso County. We'll have those clear skies and with the wind calming down, strong radiational cooling all areas tonight. Afternoon high temperatures tomorrow will entice you to maybe get outside, even if it's just during your lunch hour, taking a walk a little bit. Afternoon high temperatures warmer than what we had today, and that warming trend continues into Wednesday. How about a high of 56 degrees in January? Awfully nice. That trend of unseasonably warm afternoon highs will end by Friday as that storm rolls across the Rockies. Only 34 flurries in your forecast. Of course, way too early to tell you how much snow is going to fall with that one, but we're on top of it. We'll keep you updated in Pueblo. Well, your bonus day this week is Wednesday, 60 degrees in January. Break out the golf clubs or just spend some time outdoors enjoying that unusually mild air. Back in the cooler by Friday with flurries in the mix. No heat waves over the weekend, but afternoon highs into the 40s, both Saturday and Sunday. That's not too bad for this time of year. It could be a lot worse. Canyon City pleasantly mild through Thursday. Then you pick up the tab Friday, paying the price with snowflakes and much colder air. Morning lows over the weekend will be cold, especially Saturday morning as that low drops down to 14 degrees. Woodland Park, a dry mild pattern gives way to that Pacific storm on Friday. Could see another storm by Sunday, not looking like big epic snows at this point. Certainly colder air and unsettled. That's the main message Friday into Sunday. 